Hi guys, welcome back. We're back down to the mat today with this feel good Pilates routine for sleepy mornings. So if you are just waking up, this is going to be perfect because it will just be a nice dynamic stretch, of course, with a little bit of work, but just trying to get everything moving, build a little heat, wake you up for a great day. All you will need is your mat. So go ahead, roll it out and let's get started. Okay, I'm really excited to be doing this workout right now because I'm filming this on a Sunday morning, so it is a little bit of a sleepy morning, which means this is going to be the perfect workout. So we are going to start standing here. You can just start at the back end of your mat, it doesn't matter. Feet hip distance apart, inhale, reach arms up, exhale, take a forward fold here. Let the head hang, slowly stack, rounding the spine little by little all the way back up to standing we'll just do a few more of those so the big things you're going to notice in this workout are some inversion which is energizing so just getting the um ugh, the head below the heart so that's gonna be nice and energizing and then we'll also be doing a little bit of front body expansion like this forward fold so feel like a nice little wake up stretch all the way back up to standing. So go ahead, if you're not already at the back end of your mat, come there now. We're gonna do a plank inchworm. So all the way forward here, keep legs as straight as possible. You're gonna walk hands forward all the way out into the plank. Once you're in plank, take a big step, right foot to the outside, right hand, make sure that right heel comes down, twist your right, reach the right arm up, bring the hand back down, step back, and then keeping the hips steady, legs straight, walk hands back in toward the toes. We won't come all the way back up to standing, you can just touch toe there. Walk forward again, and we'll repeat on the left side. So big step with the left foot, twist, reach, opening through the chest, hand down, step back, walk back in toward the feet. So we'll do 10 of these total, that's two down, but you don't have to rush it. We're just going to enjoy this nice leisurely start to the day. If you're doing this in the morning, I guess there's nothing that says you have to do it in the morning. You could do it any time of day, but I do think it is a particularly nice one for the morning. Keeping abs tight. Oh, and maybe there will not be any cat appearances in this video. Oh no. <laughs> They're all sleeping right now. Leo's made so many appearances lately. He's just exhausted, you know? It's hard being the star. But if you guys are new to my channel and you don't know who Leo is, just go like one video before this one or two, I don't know. <laughs> go two videos before, check out one of my other videos and there's a good possibility that you will see Leo, my best bud, or one of my lovely ladies, Luna or Layla. Got all the L's, we got a little L tribe. And you'll do one more here on the left. So should already be feeling yourself waking up, opening up the body, step back, last interim back in. And then we are going to walk forward into the plank one more time. And then from plank, push back to downward dog. So sinking heels down, flat back and shoulders here. And we're gonna come through all the way through, drop the pelvis, Upward dog, keep shoulders down away from the ears. Pull back from behind the navel, back to downward dog. So we're just gonna go between these two, 10 times total. So again, we're combining it. We got that bit of inversion in the downward dog. And then we've got that heart opener, chest expansion in the upward dog.
just following the breathing here. So inhaling forward to upward dog, exhaling back to downward dog. Nice, strong shoulders, strong core. So make sure you're always activating the abs to press back to downward dog, not the lower back. So you gotta do a big pull in of the navel. One more here. Good, come forward to plank, lower the knees and lower all the way down to the stomach. So feet can just be about hip distance apart here. We're gonna leave the legs completely out of this. So push down into the tops of the feet. I do recommend that like push so that the kneecaps actually lift a little bit. It's a little bit more active and it helps you stay grounded here so that the legs are not like all over the place. We're gonna take elbows wide. So fingertips just supporting behind the head here. We're gonna do 10 low lifts here, keeping elbows wide. So inhale, on the exhale, just the chest. Keep legs down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. So you're keeping the head in line with the spine. So don't throw the head back. Here's four. And on this last one, you're gonna stay lifted and you're just gonna keep the elbows wide, twist right elbow to floor, left elbow to floor, right, left. But you'll notice I'm not dropping my elbow, I'm turning actually through the torso to do that. Here's four, three, two, one. Come back through center, release the hands, reach arms long in front of you, inhale, on the exhale, we're gonna squeeze. Inhale, reach, exhale, squeeze. Again, keep the head in line with the neck here, in line with the spine. So keep that nice and long. Don't throw the head back. Will it help you lift? Yeah, it will, <laughs> but it's not correct. Here's three, two, one, and release. There we go, take a quick breather. If you want, you can press back to a quick child's pose. And we're gonna do those three things just one more time. So some really nice work for the upper and mid back, really good postural series as well. And I find that when you're standing nice and tall, when posture is good, that alone is energizing. So good thing to work on. So again, push down into the tops of the feet. Elbows wide, lift and lower. 10 of these. Really controlled on the release. Couple more. And stay up on that 10th one, and we go right and left. Here's four, three, two, one, through center, and finally reach arms forward. Exhale, squeeze. So that squeeze will pull the chest up a little bit more. You're squeezing the whole midline of the back. Here's two, one, and release. So press back to a quick, delightful, well-earned child's pose. Have a little wiggle around there, and then we're gonna flip it around and come down onto the back. So, all the way down, Woo! there we go. Hug knees into the chest, give the hips a little wiggle out, and then we're gonna extend the right leg just down on the floor here. If um, 
you feel like you're getting that hollow underneath the lower back and it's really hard for you to stay grounded, put a little bit of a bend in the right knee. That's gonna help you find the tuck and push everything down. Left knee hugs in, we're gonna extend that leg up straight. <sighs> Pull navel in tight. And we're gonna be doing little tiny circles here. Now, thing to bear in mind, the lift is important here. That circle needs to be drawn on the ceiling, not in a wall that's next to you. So if you feel the leg is coming down like this, eh -eh. better to put a bend in the knee like that and keep it high than to keep it straight, but down here. So more important, the leg stays high, okay? So extend it up. We're gonna do 20 little tiny circles to the outside. Like I said, keeping lower back pressed into the floor. So little tiny circles, back stays down, hips are not swinging all over the place, chest stays open, and they're really quite hypnotic. <laughs> I find these ones actually somewhat relaxing. Keep squeezing abs tight. Here's three, two, one, and just reverse. So circling to the inside, keeping the speed of the circle steady throughout. So make sure you're not speeding it up anywhere. It's more of an issue when we get to the big circles, um, but good to start thinking about it now anyway. It's a lot of control in these. Keep shoulders relaxed. Here's two and one. And we're gonna do 10 big circles to the outside. So as big as you can do without the hips or lower back lifting. And again, keep the speed the same. So with these outside circles, really watch the inside bottom corner. Make sure you're not all of a sudden doing a big burst of speed there. Keep it slow throughout. So inhaling as you go down, exhale as you lift up. So nice range of motion. Again, we're just getting everything warm and ready for the day. So lots of good gentle movement, building the strength at the same time. Watch that that right hip isn't lifting. And one more in this direction. And then again, we're gonna reverse. So going to the inside, and now you're gonna wanna watch that bottom outer corner. Make sure it's not speeding up. It's gonna be really hard to not speed it up there. So sometimes I'll actually like actively hit the brakes so I can really feel that part of it. This is one of those like kind of deceptive ones. It looks like it's so easy and mild and then as you do it, whoo, it gets hard. I know I just said it was relaxing, but that was then, and this is now. One more here, and release. Hug both knees in. We've got one more thing on this side. So you're going to bring the right foot fully in, plant it underneath the knee here, extend left leg long. We're gonna be lifting into bridge. As you lift, this left leg is gonna lift. So I'll show you one, shoulder blades tucked under. It's gonna be a lift and down. Big push up with the hips. Only 10 of those, so not bad. And then we're gonna hold the 10th one at the top. Hips will stay up and you're just gonna lower and lift the leg. 
okay? So 10 and 10, and then we switch sides here. Inhale, on the exhale, big lift, controlled release. Big lift, controlled release. You could have a little bit of a bend in that left knee, that's fine. And make sure you're lifting fully up through the hips. Okay, this next one, you're gonna keep the hips lifted, keep pushing, stay high there, just the leg. Down, lift. Lower abs here as well. Here's four. Last one. <laughs> and release. Hug the knees in, give it a little shake out. We'll do all that on the second side. So left leg goes long or keep a little bend in it. As you prefer, hug the right leg in, extend it long, keep both hips pressed flat, lower back pushing down, navel pulling in tight little circles to the outside, 20 of these. Breathing through it, keep toes pointed, and keep that circle all the way up on the ceiling. to the inside, 20. Here's four, three, two, and one to the outside, 10 big circles. Woo, as big as you can go <laughs> without kicking any walls. Keeping the speed constant throughout. Feeling that nice rotation in the hip, but really supporting doing the work with inner and outer thighs and lower abs. That's the dream team on these. Couple more in this direction. And reverse it to the inside. You need to put a bend in the knee to keep it high. Do what you need to do to keep it high. one. 
and bring it down. Bring the left foot in, so foot is planted. Right leg can extend long in here. Hips and leg first round, and then the second set of 10, just the leg. Inhale, here we go, exhale, lift and lower. Don't make it too wild, it should be nice and controlled. So control the release especially. Last one, we're gonna stay up, just the leg. Inhale down, exhale left. Keep squeezing that left glute. If you start to sink on these, you're not gonna feel that glute at all. So it's really important that you stay nice and lifted. Here's three, two, one. Release, butt comes down. Extend legs long for a second, just give them whoo, a little shake out. And then we're gonna bend the knees again here. We're in our final little series. It's a nice short one, so just finishing it out here. Feet planted, hip distance apart. Don't bring them in too close to you because we're gonna do a full roll up to seated here. And if the feet are in really close, it's really hard to roll up. <laughs> so step out a little bit here. Inhale, arms overhead, keep lower back press down. On the exhale, roll with me all the way up. You're gonna stay up here, hands underneath the shoulders, fingertips pointing forward. Lift, open through the chest, squeeze the whole back body, slow release down, release the arms, slowly roll all the way back. That's one, we're doing 10 total. So roll up, nice and controlled, hands down. Lift, shine the heart up, down, Roll all the way back. So it gets a nice little bit of back body on this lift. It also just feels really good. I think that tends to be like everyone's <laughs> favorite stretch. No, I don't know, maybe not everyone, but so many people really love that stretch. And I like that it's both a stretch and a bit of work. To be fair, that should be the case with a lot of things. So we never, I don't know. I don't know, we don't wanna completely just like collapse into a stretch. Sometimes I guess we do. If it's, if it is more of a stretch for flexibility, that can be nice as well, but always good to support with the strength of the muscles, which this one does. A few more here. Make sure you're really controlled on that roll back and you're not just Falling back onto the floor. It's not that time yet. We'll get there though. One more. And this last one here, you're gonna stay up here. So hands under your shoulders, feet underneath knees. Keep the arms straight. We're gonna swing, tuck the butt back. So extend the legs straight, my butt is still hovering. Lift back into that little reverse tabletop. If you can't bring the butt all the way between the arms, just go back as far as you can and lift up. But don't rest the butt on the floor. Inhale down, exhale up. 10 of these total. And again, it's a nice energizing one. Here's two, one, release, do, 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 roll all the way back. And we're gonna do those two things just one more time. So 10 and 10, not too bad. Inhale, reach arms overhead. Exhale, roll, roll, roll. Hands down, lift. Full squeeze of the glutes on that lift. That's your real power there. It's not the arms. 
I mean, the arms help, but that's not your big source of power. Your big source of power is the glutes and the hamstrings. So use that. Few more. Last one. We stay up on this one. So adjust if you need to. So hands are on shoulders, feet underneath the knees. We're bringing it back through. Lift up, straight line. Shoulder blades through the kneecaps on that lift. Once you get the hang of these, they're actually pretty satisfying to do. <laughs> so if you're not there yet, I encourage you just keep trying. Eventually the butt is just gonna tuck right through the arms like nothing. So hold on for that day. Just keep doing your best until then, and it's gonna happen. One more. We're gonna hold this one, because it's our last one. So hold here. Option, step the feet forward, reverse plank, stay lifted for four, three, two, one. Release the butt down, release the hands, shake out the wrists, oh, shake out the shoulders. Inhale, reach arms overhead, exhale. Take a forward fold, just because we're already set up for it. So, hey, might as well. And then sit up straight again, bring the right foot in with you. So bending that right knee, twist toward your right. So left arm just hugging that right knee in. Stay nice and tall here. Navel comes over the right hip bone. So finding that rotation from down low. And release, switch sides. Chest stays open. And release. And then we're gonna flip over here. Your choice of chest expansion here. So classic, I feel like real crowd pleaser here would be a cat cow, so inhale hollow. Exhale round, you can go for that one. You can stay right here with these ones. I personally really love a cobra and I know some of you guys do as well, so if you wanna go for that, or if you wanna go a little bit milder than a cobra, you can stand the forearms here, take a sphinx, up to you. So you can pick a little chest expansion here though. Open up, shoulders away from the ears. If you're in cobra, you can take a little twist side to side. I love, this is like my absolute favorite stretch ever. I love it, I love it so much. And then from wherever you are, whichever those you took, Press back to a nice wide leg child's pose, just melting the chest down, taking nice long inhale breaths through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. So start imagining each of those inhale breaths. You're just breathing in this energizing, bright, dynamic white light. Let that light travel all the way around the body to all those little areas we just worked, bringing some good energy for your day. Exhale, release. One more time, inhale. And exhale, walk the hands back in, sit up nice and tall here. Any last movements you wanna take, any last stretches, it is all good. I hope that you guys are feeling really energized and ready to start your day, whatever you have going on. If you like this routine, of course, let me know by hitting that like button down below, and then I will know that you guys like to see these kinds of nice kind of flowing dynamic Pilates routines, and I will get busy filming more of them. While you're there, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. And of course, let me know if there's anything specific you would like to see down below in the comments. I will see you guys soon. Bye.